And Tamika, you came under some fire yeah. for your relationship with uh, Louis Farrakhan uh, and the Nation of Islam. Now, he's known for being anti-Semitic, for uh, being homophobic, but you do attend his events and you posted, I believe, a, a photo together calling him the GOAT, which means the greatest of all time. And you are running an organization that says it fights bigotry. Do you understand why your association with him is quite problematic? You know, I think it's important to put the, my attendance, my presence at Savior's Day, which is the highest holy day for the Nation of Islam in proper context. Okay. No amount of context makes that okay. You know, and just because you go into a space with someone does not mean that you agree with everything that they say. But let me push back a little bit. Why call him the greatest of all time? I didn't call him the greatest of all time because of his rhetoric. I called him the greatest of all time because of what he's done in black communities. Well, you know, maybe we should look at all the good things about Hitler and, and, and look at what he did for white people, right? Hitler was a very great man. He wasn't great for me as a black person, but he was a great German. And he rose Germany up from the ashes of her defeat. I would never be comfortable supporting someone who called, I'm not anti-Semite and I'm anti-termite. It's the wicked Jews, the false Jews that are promoting lesbianism, homosexuality. I actually spoke with the journalist from Tablet Magazine who released an investigation report on your organization. And in part, they allege that there is a lot of anti-Semitism surrounding this march. Specifically, the report alleged that you, Tamika, and co-founder Carmen Perez asserted that, quote, Jewish people had a history of exploiting black people and were proven to be leaders of the American slave trade. Now, a lot of people, by a lot of people, I include me in this, think that you're using your organization as anti-Semitism masked in activism and that you're using identity politics to shield yourself from critiques. Well, that certainly seems pretty spot on. Th these remarks are, yeah. I mean, it, it goes on death to Israel over yeah, and over so again. We did not make those we remarks. Did not make you can't but put you're associating me. with a man and who so does I, what publicly. I will, what I will say to you is that I don't agree with many of Minister Farrakhan's statements. That's Specifically a, that's, about Jewish people. As I said, I don't agree with many of Minister Farrakhan's statements. Do you uh, condemn them? Late. I don't agree with these statements. At the end of the day... You won't condemn the, it. No, no, no. To be very clear, it's not my language. It's not the way that I speak. It is not how I organize. And I think it is very clear... It's very clear that you're unwilling to condemn anti-Semitism, racism, and homophobia. Over the 20 years of my own personal activism, my own personal track record, who I am, and that I should never be judged through the lens of a man. But you're okay being judged by women as long as they're not the women on this panel, right? Do you understand why people feel that you stepping down might put some air between all of this before a, a, a conversation can, can continue? I also know of people who don't want me to step down. And so, I, you know, there's, there's both sides of that. There are people who actually support my leadership, and I am willing to lead until my term at Women's March is up. Okay. So she's not willing to step down for any reason, and she's not willing to condemn racist, anti-Semitic statements. Wow.